This morning we're meeting Rebecca Hughes Noon. She's the new pre-prep head at Cheltenham College. Thank you so much, Rebecca, for your time this morning. It's lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you too. And wow, you've only just started a month into the role. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? It's been fantastic. Um, this is an amazing school with brilliant colleagues and children and families. I'm having a great time. Very happy to be here. So for all our society members, your role as the pre-prep head yep is from rising threes yes, that's right. to seven correct underneath the leadership of tom o'sullivan yes, at the right. prep school that's correct how's your relationship with tom how's that gone oh he's a month? he's a fabulous colleague um a great head teacher to be working with mm -hmm. i'm part of his senior leadership team here at the prep so we look after the strategic aims and goals of the school and um, my particular remit is as you said looking after the pre-prep children so that's rising threes so two years and eight months in a, a first nursery group mm -hmm. uh, through to year two which is seven years of age um, and I take care of the staff and the children um, and the families and the team mm -hmm. within um, the pre-prep looking after their pastoral and educational needs. Busy busy job then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so previous to your role here where were you and your journey into education did it start sort of almost as you left school or did you do other things? Um, so at school I didn't know what I wanted to do mm -hmm. um, and I went to university and studied geography and uh, whilst at university I worked for uh, an American cultural exchange company in my summer holidays where Good. I looked after students um, who would fly into the UK and I took them on cultural tours in a big coach with them and their teachers um, around the UK and into Europe as well and I had an amazing time, I loved it. And I had really good fun. And so mm. that put into mind, perhaps teaching would be a great career choice for me. So I began my career as teaching assistant in a central London prep school, working with a reception class and working in key stage one mm -hmm. and had an amazing time. And so from there, I did my PGC at Goldsmiths in London and got my first job as a reception class teacher at prep school in Windsor. And that was nearly 20 years ago. Um, and since then, I have worked in day and boarding schools in London and the South East, um, a brief stint in Switzerland as well. Um, and prior to me joining here at Cheltenham College, I have been a head teacher of a primary school in the North Cotswolds. Uh, so I've definitely made the most of my career so far. Lots of experience then and yeah. lots of uh, obviously experience that you can bring to this role. So lots of exciting projects coming up yeah. in the prep and the pre-prep. Yes especially the new nursery that lots of ROJs and OCs won't know about. Yeah. Can you tell us a bit about that? I can. We're very lucky that uh, Cheltenham College and Prep School are putting resource into early years education for our children. And we have a brand new nursery school opening in September this year. It's exciting. exciting. Um, a beautiful purpose-built environment for our children to thrive and learn and grow in. Um, designed gardens just for them to play, lovely big open spaces, um, all singing, all dancing beautiful environment and a resource so they can thrive as young people. Wow, Yeah. goodness me. And you've had a few open mornings recently, haven't you, where you've actually had some old Cheltonians come back yeah. with their children. Yep. Um, tell, tell us a bit about that. That was really lovely. So we had a family come and meet me with their little girl and they had actually met here. So the mum was a reception child when she met her husband who was a couple of years older and they used to play together in the playground. Goodness. And, um, it's a true OC love story. So it was really nice to, to hear their comments about the school and their experiences here. And obviously they want the, the best for their child, so they're bringing their daughter here too. Mm. And uh, that was a really nice a nice time to spend with them. Yeah, and, and fantastic for society to hear that yeah. and to hear the circle of life yeah. coming back again. <laughs> um, so with the new nursery, that's going to open in September. It is. Um, things are getting busy with people signing up for that. Yes, we've had a huge amount of interest from current families and new families in the mm. nursery. Um, we're very lucky that we'll be able to have uh, a larger groups of children in that space to look after and support and nurture in the first mm. years of their learning. Um, but yes, a huge amount of interest and lots of people already have signed their children up to come and join us in September. Mm. And I can imagine probably over at college, they'll be wanting to come and have a look at it as well. Yes, People's everybody is welcome. There. When it's, when it's welcome. open, people are very welcome to come for tours yeah. and, and meet the amazing team, our early years team, our nursery team led by Becky Davis, um, and come and see the new setting. So outside of work, what do you like to do? I love adventure sports, um, yeah. so I love to ski. 
and my husband and I are keen cyclists, so we do lots of long cycle rides and cycle journeys. Um, I'm a keen runner when I get the chance. Um, I like muddy paths and forest trails, cross-country running, um, and walking. I, I grew up going on walking holidays with my family as a little girl, so I love mountains. Yeah. Um, anywhere with a good pub and a nice view. Oh, we've got lots of those around. We do, <laughs> yep. Um, and if I'm not up a hill or um, running a country trail, I'll be in a spa. So I have a very nice gym membership where I live with my, and my husband and I use the spa a lot, which is very nice at the end of a long day. Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. And what would you say is your favourite children's book? Is there one in particular that you like? Yes, there is. Um, the Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Cole. That's my favourite book. Mm. I have such lovely memories of looking and reading that story with my parents when I was a little girl. And I love the bright colours and the pictures of the food that the caterpillar eats. Mm. Um, and then turns into a beautiful butterfly. Um, and that is one of my absolute favourite stories. Obviously, I love loads of the classics and working with children of the pre-prep page. I get to enjoy lots of literature. Yes. Um, Roll Doll the Twits is another favourite of mine. Mm. Um, and Zog by Julia Donaldson. I love those stories, the Julia Donaldson series. But actually all sorts of things from classic Beatrix Potter um, through to Barry's Peter Pan mm. um, through to Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Yes. All sorts. I think books and literature are a brilliant way to bring imaginations to life. And it's something that I really enjoy um, mm. sharing with the children. Mm. Thank you, Rebecca. It's been so great to meet you and obviously for our society members to meet you and hear about all the exciting things happening in the pre-prep. We wish you luck and Thank you very much. look forward to seeing the progress made. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you.